Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be something different. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in a vlog type style short little video my 10 favorite binge worthy shows on Netflix. So while I do that, I'm gonna make some superfood hot chocolates which I saw on Valeria Lipovetsky's channel. I'll link to the video down below um, so you guys can make it too if you want. I really love it and it's a great alternative to the unhealthy hot chocolate that I would otherwise drink. And also what better thing to do than watch Netflix on a Friday night and drink hot chocolate. So while I make my hot chocolate, I'm gonna tell you guys about my top 10 favorite shows on Netflix right now. Okay, let me get my blender quickly. Um, so yeah, let's start with number one. This is, by the way, in no particular order because I really love all these shows equally, equ equally <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to pick one. So, um, something that we just finished watching, actually the new season of, which isn't on Netflix yet, but which is a great series that you should definitely get on, is Shameless. I'm sure most of you already know the show. I think like seven seasons are on Netflix and then the eighth season just came out, but it should be on Netflix like sometime this year um, but yeah seven is a lot so if you haven't seen it at all yet you'll probably take about the amount of time until the new season comes out to watch the old ones it's a really awesome show about a family in chicago i'm sure most of you know and i'm not really telling you anything new here but yeah definitely one of my favorites um Number two on my list is a Netflix original. A lot of these actually are Netflix originals. Um, a show that I really enjoyed was Ozark. Um, it's about a family that moves to the Ozarks because they uh, get into some trouble. Like I don't want to say too much because then it's not that cool to watch anymore. But yeah, it's really, really cool show. And it's uh, got my favorite actor of all time in it, Jason Bateman. I think he's awesome. He always makes me laugh. And even in a serious role like this, I think he is still really awesome. And it's just a really captivating um, show and it just keeps your attention and like you wanna watch more and more and more. Okay, so that's number two on my list. Number three on my list is definitely something that I'm sure each and every one of you have, has heard of and that is Stranger Things. It's just like, what can I say? It's just a great series, super cool and I love the whole 80s vibe of it. It's really cool to see the fashion as well from that time and everyone is just amazingly awesome in that show, especially, I don't know what the boy's name is, Noah Schnapp I think who plays Will, Will Byers. In season two, he was really amazing and I think he should have won a ton of awards for it. It's about this little town and these kids live there and um, supernatural sort of crazy stuff starts happening and there's like a, another world and no, just watch it. It's really awesome, you won't regret it, I promise. Uh, what number are we on now? Is that number four? Uh, let me just put some some ingredients into this. I'm not the best at multitasking as you can tell because this isn't really going that well. Like I could have had my hot chocolate ready 10 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, number four on my list is Atypical, which is another Netflix original series. So that's three in a row now. But I just think it's such an awesome series. It's about a boy who's got autism and his family and sort of the family dynamics and how everything works. It's just a really, really fun show to watch and we really enjoyed it, so I definitely recommend you watching that. There's only one season so far, but it has been renewed for another season, so there's more coming. I'm putting some maple syrup in here, not that that's what this video is about at all. Number five on my list is another Netflix original series and it is Friends from College, which is a comedy series. Um, Matthew didn't like it that much. I thought it was really cool. I binge watched the whole season in one evening or two evenings, I can't remember. Anyway, it was really cool. It's about friends from college and basically they're all grown up now and um, yeah, you see, their lives and how they still interact with each other and some of them are kind of stuck in when they were still in college even though they are grown-ups now but um yeah it's just a really cool series to watch and it's easy to watch and it's got robin sherbatsky in it from um 
How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a cool series to watch and one of my favorites, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be in this video. We're moving on to number six on my list and that is, of course, without a doubt, Friends, which had to be in there as well. Everything is on Netflix and we've already watched it. I think this is the third time that we are re-watching it. I'm not gonna like explain Friends' plot to you guys because I'm sure you know what Friends is. But yeah, definitely one of my top binge-worthy shows on Netflix. Uh, okay, so moving on to number seven, which would have to be, I think, um, Parenthood. I loved Parenthood. This is maybe not something that you can watch with your significant other or whatever, or maybe you can, I don't know. Matthew didn't really enjoy it. I loved it. I binge watched the whole series. I think I watched it in like two weeks. There's seven seasons and all the seasons are on Netflix. And if you watch it, you're gonna wish you were a braver man because it's just that cool. It's basically just about a family and um, what they go through in their daily life, but it's like an epic family, if you know what I mean. They're like these epic people, like This Is Us. I don't know if you guys know This Is Us. Um, this Is Us isn't actually on Netflix. I wish it was, otherwise it would have been in my list, but it's not. But yeah, same type of thing, it's just all epicness. Okay, um, what number are we at now? Number eight, I think. Number eight on my list is has to be uh, another Netflix original, Grace and Frankie. I love that show. I think it's just, I love the characters on that show. Uh, Jane Fonda plays in it and I never know what the other, is it something Tomlinson, I think. Anyway, they're best friends in real life. They're best friends on the show. The whole plot is just fabulous. It's about a um, two married couples who have been friends and for like the longest time and the guys worked in a law firm together but they actually secretly gay and then after like 20 years or 40 years something ridiculous like that of marriage they both decide to now come out and be together as gay men so these women are like completely shocked and confronted with the truth basically and they end up living together but now it sounds super serious but it's not it's a comedy series it's very light-hearted and it's just one of my favorites and it I think it I read like articles about it and it deals with a lot of things that um, elderly people have to do with but like in a humorous way um, which makes you look at all elderly people different I think yeah <laughs> I think there's three or four seasons on there now so lots to binge watch definitely worth it and I think it's a great show number nine is something that I don't know if it was really that popular but it's American Vandal um, I thought this was such a cool show just the whole like it's set up like a documentary, but it's a mockumentary and it's also sort of more comedic, so a comedy. It's about a um, school parking lot and all the cars get spray painted and this guy gets blamed but he says it's not his fault. So another kid in the school is now making a documentary about how this kid is being blamed for spray painting the cars. It's just like it sounds lame when I tell you what it's about but I promise it's a really cool show and it's definitely worth the watch. There's only one season on and I'm not sure that there are going to be more seasons uh, but yeah I'll have to google it or whatever. <laughs> I don't know right now. Okay so I guess um, let me stir my my concoction here. I think it's like almost done. Okay, so my hot chocolate is ready. I'm just gonna pour it into a glass. And then I guess I'm gonna tell you guys about number 10 on my list, which is probably honestly the least, the least, the least good um, show on the list. But really, it's one of my favorites and I started watching it when it just came out and I was like a teenager. So let me not keep you in suspense any longer. It is Gossip Girl. Okay, so I know that it's like kind of lame and it's not like, but it's, it's, an, it's a cool show to watch. Everybody, everybody in my time completely shipped Blair and Chuck and I still do honestly and I love re-watching it every now and again because it's just a great show and also you guys know I have a fashion channel and the fashion on that show is un 
real. I love it. Okay, anyway, so that's number 10 on my Netflix watch list series to binge. I hope you guys liked this video and thought it was entertaining. I have more of these like vlog style videos coming up. Um, I would love it if you would recommend some shows down below in the comment section that I can still watch. If you've watched this video then you kind of know what our taste is or what my taste is in shows. So if you know any good ones I would love to know about them because I'm kind of through all of them now. Um, so yeah, definitely comment that below and leave this video a like if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!